By the time this video airs, I will be over halfway through a 30 day yoga challenge and it has been amazing, but one of the best things about it, and there have been many, but one of them is the fact that I keep coming back to how amazing yoga is for labor. And that's why prenatal yoga is a thing because yoga and labor go hand in hand. So I'm not creating anything new here or telling you anything you don't already know, but if you are pregnant and you are not attending prenatal yoga classes on a regular basis, you're missing a huge opportunity to really prepare in one of the best possible ways for your labor. There are three big ways that yoga helps to ground and center and organize you to be more effective in your labor. The first way is that it helps you to come back to your breath when you're feeling discomfort. I don't know about you guys, but when I am feeling discomfort, I just kind of look for an escape. I just want out. If I'm in a tough yoga pose and my legs are on fire and I can't hold it anymore, I just want to break the pose. But what yoga recommends is you come back to your breath and you find that ease and you center yourself. And that is almost a distraction from the physical sensations that you're experiencing. And the same is true for labor. If you are in the height of a contraction and it's really incredibly difficult, come back to your breath. It is always there and it will guide you and lead you through the rest of that contraction or the rest of that pose until the contraction ends or until the yoga teacher has mercy on you. <laughs> the second amazing thing about yoga also has to do with your breath and it is that it trains you to be following your breath constantly. So in yoga, every movement that you're doing is coming with an inhalation or an exhalation. So you're never, or you're supposed to never, hold your breath. And the same is true in labor. If you're in the height of a contraction and you're holding your breath, that's gonna make your experience in way more intensely difficult than if you had, like we said in point number one, found that breath grounded with that breath and also continue to move that breath. If you hold your breath in yoga or in labor, it's going to be that much more difficult. Follow that breath even when you're feeling discomfort in and out and inhale and exhale and how to kind of make that breath even more satisfying with a <sighs> adding some vocalization to it. These are all yogic techniques but that you can translate really easily into labor. And then of course there are the benefits that come with getting stronger and getting more flexible and getting you know, your pelvis into these really nice open poses. But the third main benefit that I wanted to share with you that was kind of unique or kind of came to me from my own yoga practice is that yoga helps you to get in touch with your body and get to know your body and get to understand the way your body likes to move. When you walk into a yoga class and everyone who has already landed on their mat is in a very different position. They're in a position that is delicious for their body, a position that their body craves or needs. And there are postures and positions that give you that, that sensation. There are movements and stretches that give you that sensation. So getting to know those and gather them all up is an amazing benefit that you can take with you into your labor. If you know you really love a really good back bend or a good back stretch or you know chest opening or whatever it is, you can find ways to do these poses throughout your labor that will give you that pleasurable sensation in amidst the contractions. So like I said, if you are pregnant and you are not doing prenatal yoga yet, definitely hook yourself up. If you're not going to a class, find some online, do it at home, really delve in and explore this yoga aspect of lifestyle, of living, of being, but also of laboring. In fact, I think prenatal yoga is so incredibly beneficial that I've included an entire prenatal yoga groundwork video in the Love Your Labor program 
for moms to have right there on their computer as they go through the program that, that trains the body for labor simultaneously as we're training the mind, the spirit, the partner. So that's all I've got for you today, guys, on prenatal yoga. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and you wanna hear more about naturopathic labor preparation, you can sign up for my webinar that is happening this week over at loveyourlabor.com forward slash live webinar. If you liked this video, please be sure to actually like it, leave me a comment, tag a pregnant mama friend, or share it on your page. I want you to birth boldly and love your labor. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time on Bramrit's Baby Talk.